water is basically invisible. What you really see is the way that it bends and reflects light. Like water in a bathtub. Wow, how does that work? What's going on? Parallel rays of light. They hit the surface of the water. The water is more dense than air, and that causes the light rays to bend. The surface of the water is undulating. Those undulations cause the rays of light to diverge and converge. When they converge, that makes a bright spot. Where they diverge, you get a dark spot. There ought to be some way to control that. Maybe even to make a picture from it. If I could control the shape of the wave, maybe I could control the picture. There's no reason why it shouldn't be possible. I could probably do the same thing by shaping glass or plastic. The trick was to figure out how to get that shape. I found the appropriate mathematical framework to phrase the problem in. The math itself turns out to be beautiful. All I needed to figure out was how to make the lens. Making a lens is quite a struggle. I use a robotic mill, which I've modified so that it cuts to the precision of a few wavelengths of light. Amazingly, that's not good enough. After hours of precision grinding, the lens comes out and I have to polish away all the defects. And really the challenge is what animates the art. When you look at the lens, it reminds you of shower glass. Everything is distorted but clear. It's like a funhouse mirror. And you stick it into a beam of light. The image can have sharp edges, bright whites right next to abject blacks, smooth tones, patterns. But when you go back to the lens, none of that is there. The lens is rearranging the light rays to make the picture. The show is called Luminaries. All of the lenses are in motion. Each lens has a sweet spot. If you put it in a beam of light at that point, you'll get a perfect picture. If you turn it or move it back and forth, instead of going out of focus, the image deforms, it begins to morph. They fold like origami. If you start to move the lens back into position, out of all this chaos, suddenly some features appear. You see an eye here, a nose there. People are startled. Where's the image coming from? They're intrigued, they're mystified. And in that way, they get drawn in. And I want that. I want people to have a sense of wonder. 